Hi, I'm Sharon Luca from the Luca Foundation. I just wanted to do a quick video um, today um, whilst I'm able to, um, and I'll explain whilst I'm able to in a minute what that means. Um, I have written a book for children to explain bereavement. It's called Why Did Grandad Die? Um, and in a nutshell, um, I'm going to explain to you very quickly why I've done that. So my first son, my first child, he was stillborn full term in June 2012. And I had to come back from a very, very dark place, um, which I never thought I would come back from. And later, a year later, uh, I was blessed with another son, thankfully. Um, he literally just made it and again that part of the story will will be something else um, but he when he was four and a half because he's grown up knowing that he's got a brother in the sky who's a star at night um, he asked how did Luca die having that conversation with a child um, is so hard really really hard and there's nothing out there that is able to help a child understand that in this kind of modern more accessible world that we have and what I mean by accessible is that they've got so much that they can see online and for me having this conversation which led to lots of questions it had to be something that needed to be done quite honestly. Um, so I took our real life conversation and I put it into a book. The book is available by my charity, the Luca Foundation .uk. Uh, Luca is spelled L-U-C-A. Uh, you'll know it's us by this little symbol here, it says the Luca Foundation. And all the profits go to the charity. Now, myself, None of the trustees, nobody gets paid from the charity. The money we raise goes to the cause. And um, I myself am disabled. I have a chronic condition, quite severe fibromyalgia. And um, hence why I said another part of the story and why I'm able to do this today. Yesterday I was in bed. I was had chronic fatigue, chronic pain. And I, and I couldn't really lift my head properly at all. Even now I'm propped up with a cushion behind my back because my back is killing. And I had to, I was doing a podcast this morning with somebody about this very subject. And um, I thought I'm going to do my own little video just to explain this and the fact that I need help. I need your help. Um, if you are an influencer, if you are somebody known in the media and you believe that this is also a subject as I do that needs breaking this stigma of not being able to talk about loss and bereavement um, that stigma that stiff British stiff upper lip thing that we have going on um, about this going back hundreds of years um, if you, like me, believe that it's time to to end that because it brings on mental health issues and it, for children especially, if they, they have that as a mental health issue when they're young because they haven't got answers to um, bereavement the way that they should and that's going to carry on into their, their adult, adult life as well. And that's why I've done this book. So based on my real life conversation with my little son Kai, when he was four and a half, he's eight now, um, goes to my charity. But our aim is to get this into all primary schools across the UK. So in some way or form, every child will have access to this with their teacher, but also with you as their family if you want to purchase it uh, from our website. And whatever platform you're watching this on at the moment, I will put the link in there for you to purchase it should you wish to do so. Um, 
I myself, I've named myself as a, a brief parent, an angel warrior. Uh, my Luca is in the sky. He is my angel. I'm the warrior that has to carry on down here. And I'm also a warrior for fibro, fibromyalgia. Um, I struggle massively. Um, I lost my career and everything to it. But doing the charity, it helps me challenge, channel my grief through that by helping others. Um, so it gives me an inner satisfaction, if you like, um, that I'm able to help other people well I can't really do much for myself and I don't make money from it like I said um, I do have a small clothing line called LK which is uh, Lima Kilo Eco Style so LKEcoStyle.com um, Angel Warrior t-shirts available there um, but Angel Warrior can be anybody who's suffering with a deep loss um it could be that you've lost your partner um not um it could be that you've lost your parent and you know you were extremely close with them i think angel warrior as a whole can be um a symbol of somebody grieving um i'll wear it for the rest of my life because i won't move on from the loss of luca and any parent that has lost a child will know that you don't move on you move forward with a new normal um, but it never leaves you and sadly four years after um, Luca died I was then diagnosed with fibromyalgia which was following a car accident um, just when I started living my life again and at that point we were trying for our third child that then didn't happen either um, I'm sat here in excruciating pain which is why I'm gonna leave this video quite soon um, I laugh about it I smile about it but the pain is real and that's my physical pain but also my inner pain of grief to break that stigma finally we need to do this I need people in the media influential people, people that feel strongly about this same subject to come forward and please help. Let's make this a national campaign. Let's break the silence. Let's finally lift that taboo and say that talking about bereavement is good for us. It's tears of love. It's a loss. If you don't know what to say to somebody when they've lost somebody, simply say I don't know what to say because sometimes there are no words but saying you don't know what to say means that you're thinking of them you're there for them and saying that you don't know what to say is actually more comforting to that person as it was to myself and my husband when a friend of ours said it to us and they've been here for us through this journey for nine years so they felt the loss of Luca because they had babies at the same time. We were all having babies at the same time. So, you know, it's okay to say you don't know what to say, but just don't avoid that person. Don't cross the street. Let's break the silence. Say, I'm really deeply sorry for your loss. If I can do anything, I'm here for you. I just don't know what to say. There are no words. And often that is just enough, like I just said to do that but at the same time talk about it with your children don't push it under the carpet for them they'll have questions that they may not be afraid to ask you because you're upset and they don't want to upset you anymore that's not good for their mental health please please talk to your children about bereavement because they don't want to grow up with mental health issues that are caused by something that wasn't discussed okay so please do that with this book. Um, my journey, my struggles, my way of dealing with the loss of Luca, obviously I just mentioned that I'm Sharon Luca. <laughs> Luca was added to our surname um, a few years after he died actually because I promised him that I will keep his name and memory alive. 
I never knew how I was going to do that at the time and things just came to me the Luke Foundation adding his name to our surname so I'm actually Sharon, hyphen, hi, Sharon Luca hyphen chatter but people know me as Sharon Luca and I'm happy with that because that's my son's name and it's really important to me that that stays alive and um, that book Angel Warrior is called it's coming out uh, later this month but I'll do a whole separate video about that um, but in the meantime please come forward help me and the people that have already offered to help um, break this silence break this taboo let's change this as it's by far overdue okay let's do that let's talk about it and let's make it a normal conversation for generations to come because we can do it if we put our minds to it. I just need your help. I can't do it by myself. I'm a little nobody. Um, but with your help, maybe we can all together break this silence, break this taboo, and be the warriors that our future generations needed us to be. So thank you. Um, I'm going to go have a nap, so I'll see you um, again soon when I'm able to do another video at some point. Bye for now. Thank you.